Make sure she gets in the apartment, okay? <laughs> and today, um, in everyday life, when something suspicious happens, many people look the other way or call the police. Uh, what would you recommend to do? To go into the action like your hero? No, call the police. Or to call the police? No, call the police. Call the police. Right. Don't, this is a movie. Don't get, don't. I, I was, I, I read something or I heard something, you know, I was reading something. Uh, there was some kind of situation and, and they walked, the police came in, walked in, a guy shot him in the face and uh, killed him and uh, they killed him. This is a movie. There's, mm -hmm. there's a soundtrack and, and it's well edited and it's stylish and it, there's slow motion and, and all of that. Uh, let those who know what they're doing do what they know how to do. When Denzel's character puts the time on his watch. Mm. What goes through his brain? It's like, do you have a name for this special sort of like vision he has? Because he turns almost into a superhero. McCall vision? Yes, is that what it's That's called? That's what the writer calls it, McCall. All right. I, I came up with, he wrote McCall vision. I didn't know what McCall vision was in the script, but my perspective on it was showing you how Special Forces type of guys think in a situation like that. Mm -hmm. Guys that are trained, their heart rate goes down, they become more calm, more light goes through the pupil, oh, they really? become more alert and aware. Yeah. Where you or me, you know, if you're in a car accident, we, we do this. Yeah. Those guys are comfortable in chaos. In, in the script there was a phrase which I had to write down, I'm going to kill each and every one of you and the only disappointment is I only get to do it once which is a brilliant line in the script in an action movie. But uh, it feels very intense. So former soldiers, do you think it's easy for them to adapt to real life and to <laughs> the, A couple of civilian? movies I did, I've done, uh, has dealt with that. And I talked with you know experts about that and, and psychiatrists and psychologists about it. And some, I remember talking with one doctor who talked about how, and even talking with soldiers, they found out that they're real good at that. And uh, they're appreciated for that. Mm -hmm. And they feel a duty and a responsibility to protect and to serve and to, and to make sure that we're safe. But there's a residual when you come home, like for example in America, and they came home from Vietnam and they were rejected. Yes. You know, so what? I talked to one man who said, Denzel, I had the dirt on my shoes from Vietnam on my boots. And I, I got to, I think he said he got to San Francisco or Oakland, and he put his passport on, and the attendant knocked it down on the ground. So you have to wait in line like everyone else. And it fell on the ground. He said, I was killing people 17 or 20 hours ago. And I looked at this, it was a woman, he said, I looked at this woman, and uh, like McCall, but he would. was serving his country. Yeah, obviously. and he said, "I did." I said, "Well, what'd you do?" He said, "I picked up my passport and I and I, and I went home. You know, welcome to welcome home." I'm an artist, man. I go to Bridgeview Arts. You know, I got a got special talent. Yes, you do. It was a special relationship that Denzel's character develops with Ashton Sanders' character. So mm -hmm. for me, it was almost a film about father and son sort of relationship. Exactly. Is that what you had at the center? Exactly, it was just about father and son. It was about trying to save young people, trying to give them the direction, trying to urgently talk to them about what it really means to So what, yeah, what, what is the key to, to direct young people? To educate, and to? Educate, talk, listen, you know, be patient. I got kids, I'm learning. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's not easy. <laughs> you have to but you gotta be patient. <laughs> Throughout the movie, we see uh, a category five hurricane developing. Mm -hmm. uh, why did you include it into the movie? What does it represent? Well, it was in the script, but what it represents is the sort of um, the storm inside of McCall. It was his dragon he had to face, he had to go home across the bridge to deal with mm -hmm. his past, his wife's death, and all those things. So it was sort of, uh, that, was the, that was the storm that was inside of himself that he has to deal with. On YouTube, there are many uh, videos, top 10 advice from uh, Denzel Washington. Oh, really? Uh, if you could give me your top advice to live by, what would that be? Keep it simple. 
keep it simple in every aspect of life. Keep it, keep it simple. You know, uh, read. That's well, enough. <laughs> what, what, what is your favorite author? What is the book to read? Ooh, the Bible's pretty good. You have faith? I do. Yeah. Good. Good. Uh, you ever read uh, Sid Arthur, Herman Hess? Read that. No. No. The Third Wave, Alvin Toffler. That's right. a good one. I'll read this one. Yeah. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank man. you. Cheers.